So I'm gonna teach you today how to move the horse sprayer booms from the shipping position to the uh, outside position. If we don't move them, then it's real tough. I can't fit through here, right? To try to get between through here to, uh, you know, dump stuff and top my tank or check my engine oil, that kind of stuff. So I'll teach you how to do that here today. So first step we want to do is uh, slightly unfold the booms so we can uh, access the engine compartment. So we're going to hit the boom unfold button. Right now it's telling us it would unfold to 100 feet, but we want to go all the way. So we will uh, unfold to 133 feet and we're going to unfold hit hold down I guess the boom unfold button so when I hit this it's going to start the unfold process so the booms lifted out of the cradles the package locks will come open next so you're gonna auto fold out just so the the booms are gonna clear the uh, sides of the sprayer here and the next thing you're gonna do you need two 24 mil wrenches and we're gonna take this bolt off right here and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, we'll take this bolt out right here. So Bo from uh, Alberta Ag here is giving me a hand today. Okay, go ahead. So we got the bolt out and you'll see inside there, there's a hole pre-drilled for the uh, cradle. Then we'll bolt her back together. And then we'll do the same thing over here on this side. So next thing we got to do, um, we have the uh, the brackets moved out, but we have to change the calibrated position for the folding. So we go into the wrench, we go into the uh, teach menu, and we're gonna go to the lock, and we're gonna put in the passcode, and then we're going to go to our manual fold, which is right here. The manual fold button is right here. Be very careful because you could break stuff in here, but this is how we can manually fold it in. So we got to make sure this button here is on green for fold in. The first one we're going to do is our inside fold. So the inside fold is this guy right here, which will bring our insides all the way in. Okay, we'll do our outsides first. We'll do this one first actually. Outside's in, then you hold the play button. You can see those outside booms came all the way in now. Next thing I'm gonna do is my inside fold. So same thing, make it green. Normally I'll give it to Bo here, he'll film for us. got the booms in the almost in the cradles now last step we got to do is put our package locks in so this one here again I just hit play or hold play down the locks both came down now Bo the other one came down too yep. good next step we got to bring our center rack down oops so this one right here again I'll give it to Bo he'll uh, watch for us We have clearance now on the handles. None of our nozzle bodies are hitting anywhere. And uh, the next step we got to do is calibrate all those positions. So we're going to hit the back arrow. We're going to go to the teach menu again. We already hit that little lock, but we got to change our folded boom positions. So you can see the green here is the center left and center right. That means they're still in the same spot, which is good. But our inside ones have changed. So inside right or inside left folded both need to be recalibrated. So I'll hit this button right here, hit the calibrate, now it changes. Same thing for inside right folded. Oops, this one right here, hit the button, it saves. 
good. So you see they both went red. As soon as I hit this back arrow, it'll save. We'll go check our bottom ones to make sure. But our outside folds are still good. It may look a little bit different on yours. This is a 133 boom, but the uh, 120s won't have that many. So then you hit the back arrow, hit the check mark, and now it's saved. The last one you gotta check is the parallelogram and just the placement, and it looks about perfect. So, if we go back and look at our sprayer now, we got lots of room to get up to the engine compartment. And we've just changed the folded position. 